All right, guys, I think I'm going to do a double upload today. Holy shit. Or whenever, whenever I get within uh, uh, internet range here at the new place. But uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was body armor, and I know this has been hammered a lot. Chuck Schumer is, of course, as of late, been uh, in the media talking about uh, potential legislation banning body armor. And I'm sorry if the phone is shaking around. I don't have a mount for it, so I'm just kind of holding it. So, um, and then what I'm going to say is have probably been said many times now, uh, and I'm probably late to the game on this, but, um, you know, it bears repeating. Body armor saves lives. It stops bullets. It stops you from having gushing wounds in your chest. It protects your vitals. Yes, criminals sometimes wear body armor. And this is really for people who don't already understand how body armor works and and, and don't understand uh, more than just cursory facts about body armor. Yes, criminals sometimes wear body armor. Yes, police and military wear body armor. But there are also lots of people in this country that you don't know about that have plate carriers or, or uh, armor armor lo- uh, loading vests or whatever, you, armor bearing vests, whatever you want to call it. There are people that they they have armor for their entire family in case of an emergency. And you know what? It, and, and then they have armor for backpacks for your kids. And there's this uh, this knee jerk reaction that people always have with body armor, and it's and it's they you see it on the news, and I've seen it recently with uh, family members and friends who are. Uh, of course, left-leaning, usually, when they say this, and that is, well, why do we have to live in a world where we have to wear body armor, where our kids have to wear body armor? Well, this is, this is the attitude that the world was not always dangerous, but in reality, there's always been murderers, there's always been people that are willing to, to do harm to innocent people, and people are always, always going to find ways to kill you or kill people in general, not you specifically. Maybe, maybe there's somebody out there hunting you down. Carry every day. So um, I hate this response, and sometimes it's frustrating because uh, me personally, I'm not a very good uh, debater. I actually don't really like getting into debates with people, um, or not a debate, but uh, a political discussion or a discussion about guns and, and body armor and, and the Second Amendment in general, because uh, sometimes I get frustrated and it's hard to find these ideas and find the the right things to say to people to try and convince them that uh, they're wrong. (laughs) And, uh, but this is one response that drives me nuts. Um, And because it's silly. I mean, and obviously a lot of this has to do with the media uh, over the past 10 years or so telling us that, you know, gun violence has all of a sudden skyrocketed and mass shootings have all of a sudden skyrocketed when we all know, um, or people who are capable of critical thought know that that's not true. So, um, for people who don't know, uh, you can easily buy body armor, uh, armor plates of all shapes and sizes, and um, uh, vests that hold them. Wow, we're driving through some serious fog. This is actually kind of crazy. The sun was just out. I don't know if you noticed that shift. I'm in. Uh, I'm just west of Albany here, and it's like thick as pea soup all of a sudden. I'm not used to this because Arizona, we didn't really get a lot of this uh, fog, but I've been driving uh, to Vermont and uh, different parts of New York State over the past week, and uh, it's, it's actually cool to see. And now it's a little chilly. Anyways... I have ADD. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, the thing I, I, this is what I, this is what I can recommend to uh, fellow gun owners and people who don't want uh, body armor banned, which nobody should want it banned, is that what you can say to friends and family members who uh, listen to Chuck Schumer and, and, and take what he says seriously and actually agree and say, yes, we need to ban body armor. There's people out there that buy it specifically for their kids and their families to, uh, as a life-saving tool. Why would you deprive them of that? 
and and when they cut because they're they're absolutely going to say it why yeah, they're gonna say why why do we have to live in a world where our kids have to wear body armor you have to remind them and if you need to pull your phone I mean this is so obnoxious but if you're in a discussion with somebody don't be afraid to stop and, and find the facts find the data because it's it, it's clearly out there gun violence has gone down substantially over the past couple of decades. Mass shootings, school shootings have gone up, but mass shootings in general have not skyrocketed and murder by gun has not skyrocketed. And the fact and the, and the fact is that criminals wearing body armor is very slim. Very slim that they actually have it. And if they do, as we've seen with the, that shooter in Dallas that killed nobody, and also the shooter in uh, Dayton, I believe, the Dayton shooter, uh, they were wearing flak vests, which is not technically body armor. I mean, it is bullet resistant, but a, uh, I know for a fact the Dallas shooter, he was wearing a, a, a fabric um, flak vest, which... Uh, will not stop rifle rounds at all and probably for the most part will not stop pistol rounds it, it might stop a few but it's not a very good barrier for um, uh, you know lead and copper projectiles out of a firearm so I don't know keep the fight going with the body armor thing it's just one more thing they want to try and take away from us uh, and any discussion you can have with friends, family, you know, I'm I I uh, I'm a bit of a hypocrite because sometimes it's hard for me to uh, to engage with people because I get frustrated and and I and I find myself having a hard time finding all these things that I just said to you now. Um, uh, but in the comfort of my truck and nobody around, usually they come to me pretty pretty easily. Uh, but just stay vigilant. <clears throat> inform people if you own a plate carrier or some sort of uh um bulletproof vest of some sort show people show people that it's relatively inexpensive as far as something that's going to last a really long time i know that body armor has a shelf life but it's like for steel plates it's like 10 years or whatever and that's really kind of ridiculous because if you keep them in a cool dry place they're probably going to last forever. AR-500 armor is anyway. Ceramics is a different story, but show people that this is something that you can purchase in case of, you know, you know, there's civil unrest. Why would you not want to put something like that on? Why, why, you know, for you making one purchase for the rest of your life, essentially, and it's as easy as just slapping it on if you need to. I don't know. Maybe I'm not making the best argument for body armor, but this is just what's on my mind, and I have a five-hour, four-hour drive now ahead of me to uh, Vermont, and uh, that's it. If you like the video, or if you have some comments that you'd like to add, go down in the comments and add them. Like, subscribe, all that crap, and uh, more videos coming, guys. See ya!